Let's start with the common fallacy that obscurity will somehow make you secure. By obscurity, what I mean is an approach to security that involves assuming the attacker does not know how you designed your system or does not know some other secret that is common across all your products. In everyday life, security by obscurity is something like leaving a key under your doormat. Assuming that the key is really a good key, leaving it under your doormat means the attacker doesn't need to know what's in the key. Rather, the attacker just needs to look under the doormat and see if the key is there. In other words, leaving the key under your doormat is not secure. Now, there may be some utility in a key under a doormat if it is unlikely for a bad guy to physically walk up to your house or you're expecting a guest to come to your door a minute or two after you have to leave the house on an errand. But in general, permanently storing a key under your doormat is probably a bad idea. On the internet, the bad guys don't have to walk from house to house and lift up doormats. Rather, they can write a script that, figuratively speaking, looks under all the doormats of all the houses while they sit back and have a cup of coffee. Now, you might think that this is too simplistic a model for computer security. But consider a security flaw that was found in millions of hotel room computerized door locks. Each door lock had a maintenance port on the outside of the door, enabling an attacker to just plug in from the hallway, scan the lock's memory for its secret key, and then feed the key to the lock, causing the door to pop open. Basically, the key to the lock was hidden under the doormat. This sort of attack is not unusual. Rather, it's all too common. Attackers are clever and resourceful and they know lots of tricks, and they have lots of time to figure things out. If you think you're more clever than an attacker, think again. Once an attacker figures out weaknesses in your system, the attacker can build a tool to attack you, and then the attacker can distribute the tool and use it across the network, so millions of systems can be attacked from the comfort of the attacker's home once one bad guy finds one flaw in your system. 